An Indian Air Force team is scheduled to visit Qatar soon to inspect the 12 used Mirage 2000 fighter jets that has been offered at a price of approximately $6.7 million per aircraft. Experts have said that the DRDO should prioritize the development of an indigenous air-to-surface missile derived from the upcoming 250 km range Pinnaka system that will act as an indigenous alternative to the Israeli rampage. The DRDO will soon test the prototype of hypersonic cruise missile, which is a transition from the technological demonstrator to the actual product. India's Cadet Defence Systems has announced the successful launch of its advanced jet-powered aerial targets, that has a speed of over 500 km per hour, with an extensive flight range of 300 km from the point of launch. China has transitioned from building 50 J-20 fighter jets annually to a much faster rate of around 120 J-20 per year, which is attributed to a new cutting-edge production method known as pulsating production line, that utilizes advanced automation and mechanization. Amidst strenuous efforts to secure a fresh loan from the IMF to meet external liabilities, Pakistan has announced 15% hike in its defense spending. Bangladesh has complained to China of supplying faulty spare parts, as well as technical problems with its imported Chinese military hardware. The initial plan to involve private companies in the AMCA program have hit a roadblock, due to their reluctance to invest heavily in a long-term project that might take years to move from development stage to full-scale production. Indian private companies have indicated a willingness to participate when the AMCA is ready for production, with confirmed orders from the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force has expressed interest in procuring 40 AMCA Mark I and 100 AMCA Mark II variants, however, private companies believe a larger order around 200 AMCA Mark II jets is necessary to make the venture commercially viable and ensure a healthy return on investment. With private sector companies hesitant to take the lead, the AMCA program is likely to remain primarily under the control of the government, with Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics playing a central role. Hindustan Aeronautics has set a target of delivering 16 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets in the current financial year, but this ambitious goal raises questions about potential hurdles, considering the company's past production rates. Responding to inquiries, HAL Chief has acknowledged that certain supply-side challenges related to major line replaceable units could impact deliveries, but these challenges are linked to the geopolitical situation. However, HAL is actively working on solutions to secure the necessary line replaceable units on time, ensuring the planned deliveries of 16 Mark 1A fighters within the current financial year. The successful rollout of a light tank by Larsen and Tubro could be a major turning point for India's indigenous main battle tank program, as this development based on a chassis designed by DRDO, strengthens the case for a domestically produced next generation main battle tank to meet the Indian Army's requirements. Discussions are already underway regarding a special purpose vehicle involving private companies and combat vehicles research and development establishment for next generation main battle tank production. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said that it has achieved a significant milestone of 83% indigenization level of Brahmos missile. In collaboration with Indian Industries, Brahmos Aerospace has successfully produced critical subsystems like boosters, seekers, ramjet engine and indigenous fuel, along with numerous smaller components, and the success of these indigenous components in successive trials has paved the way for their integration into the Brahmos missile system. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs> 